Hi Leon, hi Eugene, hi Alan. Um, missing you so so much. I love you very much. Um, I'm just creating uh, two videos. Um, so today, this one's the first one. Uh, this is uh, for Christmas. I'm um, getting prepared to send you your Christmas cards. Okay. Um, I know your mother's not going to let you see them, and of course, like, why would she? Because um, she doesn't want you to have a father because that's what great mothers do. Um, so I'm going to show you the cards just so they're here on the internet. And so maybe you can see them one day in the future. Um, and you can ask your mother why, why she'd do such a horrible thing to you. Um, all right. So the first card I've got here is for you, Leon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send it through. I, I mean, you know, never know. Maybe you might get it, but your mom said she never going to let you speak to me, um, even though she'll pretend like it's all my fault. But anyway, so here we go. Um, I wrote a le uh, message to you. Okay, I'll read it out to you. Hi, Leon. I'm hoping you are well and healthy. Sorry, I cannot see you again for your Christmas. I was hoping your mother would realize what she's doing to you is so terrible and sad. Um, I remember your first Christmas. It was like it was yesterday. So beautiful and happy. And sadly, I fear that's not the case anymore. Uh, I have not given up fighting for your rights. Um, I will come and I will find you and I will meet you again. So please find your videos and find it and make re and reach out to me so I can see you again. Okay, love your father. Okay, Eugene, next one. Um, I gave you a nice blue card for the writing on it. Okay, so I'll read it out to you. Hi, Eugene. I miss you so much. Sadly, I cannot see you due to your mother being selfish. When the day comes, please contact me to know the truth. I'll take you to Australia where you have rights and are treated like a human. Looking forward to that day. Um, all I can say for now is stay, say, stay strong and find the truth for yourself. Um, and just be the best person you can and try to have a good life. Love your father, da David. Okay. And ah, the last card's for Alan, of course. Um, so I'm actually going to be creating a second video, Alan. Um, it's one I've wanted to do for quite a while now, but I hadn't really decided whether I should do it because it's actually, you know, kind of a bit sad for you. Um, of just how 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 your mother feels about you. Um, but then she, you know, abducts you and um, abuses your rights, removes your right to just have access to both parents. But um, so I've got all the writing in here and I'll read it out to you. So to Alan, I miss you and love you so, so much. When I look at your photos, I remember your face lighting up when you saw me picking you up from daycare. The beautiful smile on your face um, and your... Your beautiful laugh. Sadly, I fear your abusive mother has stolen your memories of me um, and taken the one thing every child should have the right, right to, the right of access and support from both parents. I look forward to meeting you and becoming your friend one day in the future when you're older. Love your father. Okay, so I'll be leaving another video later about just one of the hundreds of lies your mother told. Um, this one is particularly bad. Uh, it's one that she used so she could justify her divorce um, by basically saying she didn't actually want you, um, but I'll get into that detail in another video. Um, I really hope you're having a happy Christmas. I, I don't think so because your mother never really wanted to buy you presents. I was the one who bought everything and that's why we had arguments because I would buy you great toys like the remote control cars, uh, games and everything like that. And, you know, I bought you pets, even though she she definitely hated, she was so against having those hamsters that Leon loved so much. Um, I have no idea what the, what 
what they're doing to you right now and what you must be feeling or thinking but I'm sure that the alienation and the lies that they're telling you have really damaged you guys um, what kind of a mother would tell their children nasty things about their father just because they uh, I, I can't even explain who would alienate their children from their father they must be the most terrible person in the world I you know what can I say about your mother the truth will be found out one day and I hope you, when the time comes when you're 16 you, you find me on the internet I'll be there I'll have my Facebook page I'll have this YouTube channel I'll have a website you find me you reach out to me and we'll come and get you and you can come over and see everything you have missed out on the opportunity of having and who who takes away the support of a child father you know you should just disadvantage you for life and your your grandmother Toyo she's the worst of them all that scumbag so anyway I hope you have a good Christmas but I can't I wouldn't really know what you're doing because she's just lying to you and keeping you controlled under control um, but doors will be changing soon in Japan we are fighting I'm protesting I'm never gonna give up and I won't be silenced so when the day comes be be ready to see me thank you I'll see you guys love you